Dissecting the sine wave. Now that we're feeling comfortable with sine waves and unit circles, it's time to classify some of the interesting behavior we've noted thus far. Recall our findings on the unit circle. We saw that we can continuously rotate around a unit circle to produce a sine wave. However, we also found that every time we went all the way around the unit circle, our values would repeat. This is an important finding, as this is called the period. The period is defined as the smallest repeatable chunk of a function. Seeing as one full rotation of the unit circle is 2 pi, it then follows that the period of a sine wave is also 2 pi. We can also find this number by inspection. We just need to find the smallest repeatable section as the definition suggests. We can see that on the graph here, from 0 to 2 pi. Note that we don't need to start at 0. We can also find the period from different points on the graph. For example, from pi over 2 to 5 pi over 2, or 3 pi over 2 to 7 pi over 2. While we're at it, let's classify another part of the sinusoid. The amplitude. The amplitude is defined as the distance from the center line to the peak or trough. This value is always positive. The amplitude can be found on the graph by subtracting the maximum value from the value at the center line of the wave. In this case, that's going to be 1 minus 0. You can also subtract the maximum value from the minimum value and divide by 2.